and welcome to the third part of this uh, tutorial. And uh, after you're done rendering everything, what you want to do is go into your images folder in your documents, Maya, projects, default images, and then it should be in here. So it should, the name of it should be something like composite underscore your layer name dot uh, the number and then dot the, the extension. So what I did was I just made separate folders for each of these. So as you can see, I have I have like all the images stored in these separate folders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import these sequences into After Effects. So actually, first of all, let's uh, start by importing the original clip. And alpha, and just make sure it's on straight, unmatted. Color. So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the first uh, image in the sequence. Then After Effects will pretty much do everything for you. Okay, I'm going to rename these real quick. So, this is a shadow. Oops. Reflections. Color. And alpha. Uh, the alpha, it looks like uh, only a box is has alpha, but actually there's a shadow there too that also has alpha, and we're going to use that as a mask later on. You'll see it. So I'm going to create a new composition out of the original footage. So here's our original footage. Okay, so looking good so far. So let's drop our color on top, and here we have a basic box on our scene. Okay, so now I'm going to add uh, shadows. There's our shadows. What we want to do with the shadows is, since it's, since it's only a black and white image, we can turn this the blending mode to multiply, so only the black appears. So if it's white, it's just alpha, pretty much. That's what it does. Uh, so where's multiply? Multi because otherwise, you see, you're just multiplying it by one, because it's multiplying uh, this pi the pixel data with uh, this color data so it's basically if it's white the everything is one so it's just multiplying it by one so it doesn't do anything uh, okay so now next thing is the reflections just drop actually that reflections and what we can do with this is if you hit T while you select that layer you can adjust the transparency to make the uh, reflection like super high or low and stuff. As you can see it's going off the table. What you want to do there is just uh, mask that out or rotoscope it. But yeah, okay, that seems about good right now. Okay, next thing, last thing is, as you can see there's like a darker area which is our image plane. So what we want to do with that is we want to get rid of it by putting our alpha right above our shadow and then select our shadow and then for the track mat option we want to select alpha mat and then alpha so basically what that will do is it's only uh, showing the areas where the alpha layer has actual alpha if it has no alpha it doesn't show that part so it's like a mask so if we play through this you know it's, it's looking pretty good you know we got our three dimensional box in our scene all we have to do is uh, mat that little part right there, and we should be good. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Okay, actually, if we want to mat this, here, I'll just do that real quick. Okay, let's see. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that real quick. Just for the heck of it. So I'm just creating a simple mask and I'm going to set 
the mask, uh, instead of add, I'm going to set it to subtract. How do we feather this mask? A bit. bit less. There we go, we got a nice reflection. So I'm going to go ahead and render this out by going to composition, add to render queue. I'll just select an audio output just for the kick of it. And then uh, so I know comp. Okay, so yeah, that should be good. Uh, if you want to edit anything real quick, like uh, the reflection, transparency, and stuff like that, you can if you want to. Make it darker if you want. It's too dark, so I'm just going to leave it at 33%. Yeah, if you want to make the shadow darker, I guess you could. Or, I mean lighter, like that, but yeah. Well, I'm going to like it right now, so yeah, I'm just going to press the render button. Okay, and it's done. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to see other tutorials.